So Lisa, coming back from the season break, how good was it to get it out onto the pitch? It's much better, like, cause, uh, but you know, I find with my fitness, so I can be very slaggy and mm. thing. But after a break, you need to kind of get back into the yeah, yeah, go yeah. of it and all. Yeah. And speaking of getting back onto the pitch, uh, your first game after the break was at Daily Man Park. How was that experience for you? Uh, it's different because mm. uh, the crowds were there, so that made a major difference. Uh, it kind of gives you that bit more of a boost. Yeah. And the fact that we drew the game is a much better feeling than losing. And yeah. Especially when Chloe got the win, the win like the draw at um, like the 90th minute or so. Mm. And you said yourself, getting your friends and your family back watching your matches. It's a great feeling, isn't it? Yeah, it just makes you want to. You makes you want to run more, and mm. like it makes you want to tackle that bit extra and all because they're behind you, and it's like that extra man on your side. Like. Yeah, I suppose a disappointing result of the weekend against a very good Cork side. What did you think of the game overall? Uh, I think we should be taking our chances a lot more mm. than. Um, we are at the moment uh, that's a major thing on this team I think is that we need to put our chances in the back of the net and then we'll be much better and we will compete in the better the best teams like so. yeah and finally you're away to payment this coming weekend they're having a pretty impressive season so far how are you going to approach the game uh, like every other game we're just going to try and um, that's all we can really do uh, Piedmont have a really good side so We'll wait and see the weekend and let's hope we get a draw or a win out of it. Yeah, that's yeah. brilliant. Thanks, Lisa. No problem. Great. So, Pat, the last time we spoke to you and the team, we were just about to head into Daily Mount for the first time this season. How was that? That was a great experience, Emma. Um, yeah, it's, it's some of the girls always want, you know, they want to play in the big stadiums around the country and it's starting to come in women's football at the moment. They played the Toronto's Cross and Cork and then. Uh, on Saturday, and obviously the result didn't go away, but we could have got a result there, but we didn't. But yeah, it's great for the girls. They, they, they deserve it. There's no reason a woman can't get the same as men in Ireland, you know, for any sport around the world, you know. Absolutely, and you touched on it there. Tough loss the weekend. Um, what were your own thoughts on how the team handled Cork? It was a great display. I thought the first half, obviously, we were a bit slow starting. Um, Cork scored. Um, you know, then the second half, we came more into it. Um, we, we had a goal. Von Hedigan missed. Uh, they scored ahead, and they said it was offside. I don't think it was, but that's the referee's decision. He said it was, but I don't think he did us any favours. But uh, Ed, great battle of form, second half. Lisa came on, very well, um, did what we asked her to do. But yeah, it was a great great game, great experience overall, yeah. And you've got a huge match coming up now against P-Mount. Does their status and success change how you approach the game? No, you've got to take every game as a, uh, the same. You can't see it. I have to respect teams, but you can't be f fearful of teams either. You start being fearful of teams, you're going to get yourself in trouble. Nerves are good, you know, you've got to be confident, you're not over, overly confident and cocky. Um, P Man got to come off of the feet from uh, Shells at the weekend 4 3, which seemed like a bit of a thriller in Talca, and uh, they're going to want to, you know, beat us, beat us well, but we'll, we'll, we'll see how we go. I'm not afraid of them. Absolutely, and finally, just in the past few weeks, we've seen fans be permitted to return to games. What does this mean to you and the girls to have their family and friends see them kitted out in a Bowes jersey? Yeah, I suppose everyone's being patient, you know, and people's families and friends and girlfriends and boyfriends want to go to the games, and about time they can go and see them play because watching that on the television is never the same, you know. So uh, it's great for them, it's not, from, it's not more for us, really, you know, as coaches and managers, we're just looking for them, and they deserve because they work so hard, they're very patient. Uh, they're loving it at the moment, you're loving the TV and, you know, all the interviews they're getting, you know. Brilliant, thanks so much for your time.